Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Recon here with the weekly update video for you guys. Before we get into the rest of the video, though, and cover the weekly events, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Your support's really appreciated. Don't forget to smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen, and leave a comment down below on what you think of this week's events. Now, for the reminder, the stream is going to be tomorrow. We are releasing the tier list during the stream, not right away. We're going to be doing wishing fountains at first, and then later on we will release the tier list, so stop by for that. This week's new skin is going to be Monica, which is nice because, hey... There's a lot of Monica's floating around in PvP, so the more skins that we have to differentiate the Monica's that we have, the better. So, not a bad skin, honestly. Kind of interesting. Kind of fits her, in my opinion. But, let's move on and let's go to this week's events. So, the event time is going to be from the 4th to the 10th of March. That's the 3rd to the 9th for me. So, if you're day behind, remember your day behind. Uh, the other awards are going to be 100 Elemental Orbs, 1 Advanced Scroll, and 5 Wishing Fountain Coins. Uh, first up we have Atlas Valera. This week we have Sydney here. Uh, this is a great copy. So if you're free to play and you get to, let's say, 2,500 elemental orbs, or you have some elementium saved up, I will grab that Sydney copy. This is the only time I've ever said this, grabbing a girl from this, but, uh, 100%. Grab that Sydney copy if you can. If not, and you're more paid to win, or you've been saving up to get an antique, I would skip this antique. It's not the greatest. So, I mean, it's... It's not bad on Lord Dracula and some other stuff, but uh, that's if you're really trying to make pink echoes, essentially. But otherwise, you can get a class set if you want to. Probably hold on if you are free to play in Light Spenders. You can get it from Tech Innovation, which is this week. So, yeah. But otherwise, you grab 70 copy for sure. And everything else, kind of a hard skip. And of course, if you don't, can't get to Sydney, get this and rolls and these capsules. Best way to do that. And of course, one Elementium, which you get for monthly events, converts into one Elemental Orb. All right, next up we have slots. <clears throat> Slot points going to be eight rounds. And we have Blair as the girl this time. Blair's not really needed in PvE that much. We, we've kind of seen uh, other girls do better, shine uh, with different things on different teams. So, yeah, she's just not performing as we want like her to. Is what it is. And then, of course, we have Lucky Bonus. Lucky Bonus is where we have a task to complete where we get uh, free rewards, or you can pay the $30 to get some additional rewards, which is a really great, one of the better packs to buy now. So, and promotion program uh, this week as well. So, that's good too. So, I would definitely uh, invest in this if you can. If not, it's fine. Just get your free rewards as much as you can and do that. And, of course, these are going to be the forces or the ways to get the. Ace of Hearts, which are this little heart right here. Get that, and you will get your rewards. Next up, we have Wishing Fountain. Wishing Fountain is where we take the coins, and we throw them into the Wishing Fountain, and we get girls and re resources. These are the girls that you could choose from. Yes, Mia and Gwen and Bridget are in it this time. I don't believe Hermes or Lord Dracula are in it. Probably maybe next time it'll be Hermes, and then after that it'll be Lord Dracula. So, if you're trying to get some Mia copies or Gwen and Bridget copies, whichever one you're after, um, you can get them in a house exam, or wishing fountain now. <laughs> wishing fountain, sorry. So, this is how it does. Uh, one coin equals one shard, along with rewards include coins, juice, fizzles, lunchboxes, ruins, lucky, crystals, and afterglow. Um, lost my train of thought. I believe it's 200 coins to finish it. Yep, 200 coins. So, you need 200 shards. Um, and of course, wishing and angel demon fountains give you 30% chance to double rewards and 2% chance to receive triple rewards. Now, Ghost, Human, Monster, and Fairy, it's a 30% double chance and 10% chance of triple rewards. And that includes the house shards. Sorry, I didn't read that part. But if you're getting to do Angel Demon, you're not going to go as far. The chances of triple, double and tripling are less than if you would in a normal faction. But it all depends on what you need. All right, then it says, collect two, 200 house shards of their corresponding house to merge them and summon one random girl from the Wishing Fountain. It is random. What is it really random? So it usually goes like, in a row, so it'd be like Raphael, Nef, Uriel, Angelica, and then the one you want you get last, right? We don't think it's random, but it is what it is, you know? And of course, if you get 100 rainbow shards, you can collect one, I repeat, one girl from the event, from the little rainbow thing, one of them. 
Players' coins can be taken from gem purchases, 100 gems each, max of 200, daily mail, value packs, skin packs, yada yada yada, and wishing found supply. Essentially, you get it for free for buying gems and daily logins and doing slots, and then you have to pay for them. These are the rewards for it right here. You guys all the way up to 18 and 18, of course, we have... Shit, I forgot the name of that thing. Um, something Scepter. But essentially, it's the DOT one. You get there, you get it. Uh, so yeah. However far you get into Wishing Fountains, what you get your rewards for. This includes if you pull the Rainbow Girl, uh, it will count to this as well. Here we go, Wishing Fountain. You can buy uh, some stuff for 2,500 gems. And of course, it's got little packs to buy right here. One, two. I wouldn't buy this one. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. And next, we have value packs. Value packs are going to be the same this week, except for the fact we have Wishing Fountain coins in there. Um, sometimes it rotates between coins, uh, capsules, and something else, I believe. But these two on the right, the elemental orbs and the spots, just stay the same. No upgrade on them. They're still the same. Special gift pack. It's okay. I would something prefer something better than a six star. But hey, you know, honestly, some people might need a six star doll and angel demon faction. So I can't really say much on that. But it's still not a bad pack to buy. It's better than some of the stuff we've had in the past. Of course, we have our 499 deals and our special skin pack right here. So if you are a light spender, you can either do lucky bonus. Or you can do the 499 deals. I'd stay away from the Wishing Fountains uh, 29 pack to buy. It's not really that worth it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I have no idea how I made it this video. I have a migraine right now, and my head is killing me trying to make this video. Like, try not to squint at the light. But uh, thank you all, as always, for stopping by and watching the weekly update. I appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment down below, please. If you have a comment on this week's events, I'd like to hear it. A lot of people might say it sucks. It is what it is. But if you like it, uh, leave a comment down below and I will see you next time hopefully tomorrow morning in the stream I'll feel better hope you guys see you guys there with that being said stay safe out there it's a crazy world I'll see you in the next video peace out